Hi guys, I'm Miss Val with the North Brunswick Public Library. I'm going to be showing you a craft on how to weave a bracelet out of yarn and straws. So what you are going to need, other than of course yarn and straws, is some tape, some scissors, and I've got a book here just to have something flat and sturdy to work off of. So. If you can't find straws that are not bendy, all I have at hand are bendy straws. But if you can't find any that aren't, take your straws, you'll need three of them. Take your straws, go to where the bendy part begins and just snip it off. One, two, and three. So you will have three non-bendy straws. You're going to take your tape and connect the three straws. This craft is very simple once you get the hang of it, but the setup takes a little while. So stay with me, you guys. We want our three straws stuck together, one another. So it is going to look like this. This end will still be a little loose, this end nice and tight. Now we need our yarn. You want three pieces of yarn, and you want them to be about three times as long as the straws are. So we're going to start with one, two, and three. Then I will just use this one that we just cut to measure our next two. So there's two. And three bits of yarn. Now this part might be a little bit tough. And that's going to be getting these three pieces of yarn through each of these individual straws. So what you might have to do, maybe tape the end so that it goes through smoother. But if you're nice and careful, you should be able to thread it right through without too much of a problem. There we go, see? So there's one, two more. So you should have this, three strings going through three straws that are attached to each other. Now, at the top of our straws, where they're all taped up, we want to make sure that they're all lined up evenly. Like this. And we want to tie them in a big knot. So just loop and pull. Just like this. And we pull it here. So our setup is ready. The straws will help us to weave our last bit of yarn through these. And then when we finish, we will pull the straws out, leaving behind just yarn for our bracelet. But that'll be at the end. The last thing we need before we can actually start weaving is our ball of yarn. So what I'm going to do to make it a bit easier I'm going to tape down to a flat surface this set of straws. I've got a picture book here about Thanksgiving that I'm going to be reading for the little kids soon. So if you have any younger siblings or cousins or family friends, you could show them the very first Thanksgiving day. But if you're one of our older kids for Crafty Tweens, 
You will want your flat surface, whether it's a desk that you're working on, a table, or maybe just like what I'm using. Any book handy that can work as your flat surface, you will want it to look like this. So, we take our yarn ball, we give ourselves some space. Now, we want to tie a knot with this yarn that's still connected to our yarn ball around the furthest straw from us. So, see? We want it to look like that. You wanna leave a few inches off the end because what's left here is what you're going to use to tie the bracelet to your wrist. So let's get a nice tight knot here. You can double knot it if you want to be safe. So now we start weaving. We've got our yarn ball attached to our straws here and we are going to work very similar to braiding in an over under over under pattern. So we will go over this middle straw and under this last one, I'm trying to position myself in a way so that you guys can see the surface that I'm working from. Let's move it like this so that I can show you how the weaving goes. So we go over this one and this is where the tails of our yarn are really helpful because they can help us maneuver the straws a bit better. So we go over this one and under this one all the way at the end. So our first row is gonna look like this. And then because we went under, we'll go over again. So over, under, and over. And we just keep doing this in this pattern under, over, and under. See? And as we go, we wanna bunch our yarn up because we don't want empty spaces. Now we don't want it to be too tight going this way, but we do want it nice and tight on this side. So, over, under, over, and we tighten it along the straws themselves. Now I have this very cool rainbow yarn that is going to reveal a pattern that will look a bit like stripes with this weaving technique. Oh, See, it takes a little while to get the hang of it to figure out exactly how the weaving works. But once you figure it out, and once you have this set up with your straws and your tape and your flat surface, all that's really left is some time. And it doesn't even take too long. I would say no more than a half hour of going over, under, over, under. These are so fun to make. These are a summer camp activity. They could be a birthday party activity. You could make these for your friends for some upcoming winter holidays if you want to get presents for them. And you want to make it a bit more personal, something that you made yourself. So see, you can start to see the green in my pattern showing up. See? So I am going to keep doing this. And then, once I have it mostly woven and ready to finish it off, I will show you how to tie it, how to cut it, so that it's ready and finished to be your new bracelet. So I'll see you guys in a moment, okay? Hello everyone, I am back, like I said, about a half hour later. So I wove the yarn all the way to the end of the straws. So now I'm gonna show you what to do. You should have been doing the over under, over under pattern all the way along. 
and you should have a bit of yarn left. So this is where we need our scissors again. You are going to cut your yarn, but again, leave a bit of a tail to it. All right, cut your yarn. You are going to tie a knot around the straw where you ended. Just one knot though, not a double knot. There we go. So the end is going to look like that. You will take the tape off of both the table you'd been connecting your project to and the straws themselves. So we untape these guys. Try and be careful when pulling it off. There we go. It will look like this. So now we need to get the straws out. So you are going to push the yarn that you wove towards the knot at the end. So grip the straws on one end and push the yarn. If you didn't weave it too tightly, it should come off pretty easy. And then it'll start to come off the straws all together. Just like that. And then, whoa! And there we go. So it's a little bit wonky. What we wanna do, oh, don't go crazy. What we want to do is then kind of spread it out, shape it nicely, get it as even as we can. and flat, get all those bumps out. So now this is what you will have. Your end result should have four strands of yarn, just like you did at the beginning. You will take all four of them at once, tie them into a knot, Like this. Close it up nice and tight. Ah, now we have our woven bracelet. So we have a whole bunch of yarn sticking off the one end. We've got our one tail. So we can clip these tails so that we just have two longer bits to tie together. Check that out. How fun is that? You can use different yarns. You could try different material altogether as long as it's something that you can weave. And there we go. You'll just have some little tails hanging down. But if you made it big enough, it should fit without any trouble. So it is a fun thing that you can do with your friends. It is a fun gift you could make for your friends. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with this. Or if you just wanna moist your afternoon and have something to concentrate on, I hope you will try out this craft. And if you subscribe to our YouTube page or like our Facebook page, you'll see next time that we post something like this. So I would love to see you guys there. I would love to see you guys in comments and likes, and I hope you all have a great day. All right, goodbye.